Our third speaker is the Reverend Rich Lang, who's pastor of Trinity United Methodist Church and also writes a regular column in Real Change. Yeah! Good. So you probably want to do some jumping jacks if you're getting cold. Um, you know, I, I really want to add on to what Tim was saying. I want to tell you, um, I want to tell you a little Bible story. If you think of the Pharaoh, you know, back in the days when uh, the slaves were in Egypt and the Pharaoh, and the Pharaoh always represents people who live in the stratosphere. You might even think of an old Star Trek episode where these people lived on like a moon, and uh, that was the stratosphere, and then down below were all these poor folk. As a matter of fact, the, the down below the planet's surface was absolutely crowded. I mean, you couldn't even move. I mean, you're just... People were just smashed in all together. And that's a portrait of an imperial economy. You have a very small elite up at the top. They are the stratosphere, and they always have these figureheads, these pharaohs that do their bidding. Now, here's the story from the Bible. There's a guy named Joseph, and he um, is working for the pharaoh. And um, he has these dreams. And in these dreams, he sees exactly what Tim is talking about. He sees that there is bad times coming. And so I, I think of Joseph as somebody like me, somebody from the middle class, because I benefit a great deal from the uh, trickle down from the stratosphere. And so Joseph is working for the Pharaoh. And so he goes to the Pharaoh and he says, hey, there's bad times coming. And I got a plan from God. I got a plan to save everybody, you and all of the people. And um, so what he says is, we got to start storing up the surplus in the good times. And then when the bad times come, and, the, and the, remember it's a farming time in those days, so we're going to put, put all the food in the silos. And when the bad times come, we're going to open the silos so that everybody can be fed. And so Pharaoh says, great, you're in charge. And so seven years come, and, and devastation hits the land. And instead of opening the silos and feeding the people, suddenly Joseph working for the Pharaoh, puts a condition on it. And he says, um, before I give you this, this uh, bread, you give me all your livestock. In other words, the way you make your living. And they do that. And they come, the people come back because they start being hungry again. And, and uh, Joseph, working for the Pharaoh, says, before I give you any more bread, you're going to give me your land. And so um, they give him the land, and of course the land now is owned by Pharaoh, all the land in the world. And finally the people come back, again they're starving. And they're saying, give us some bread. And Joseph, working for the Pharaoh, says, oh, I'll give you bread, but you give me your bodies, your labor. And the book of Genesis ends with all of the people enslaved. And that's when the book of Exodus begins. And Exodus is that great liberation story that helps and organizes people, leads them out of that land of oppression into a new promised land. And what I want to share is, I think that's what our mayor is all about. This Greg Nichols character, this unilateral um, uh, secret meetings, secret policies, kind of creeping up on us. Greg Nichols is a wannabe pharaoh. And his head is screwed so tightly up the arse of the stratospheric elite that the only air that man can breathe is being perfumed through their flatulence. Yeah! We need to create a movement. Isn't that a great sentence? <laughs> we need to create a movement, no pun intended. We need to create a movement of people, and I think the Real Change Organizing Project is the beginnings of that, so that the next time we gather, and there is going to be a next time, there will be a next time, there should be 500, 1,000, 10,000 people here, because Tim is exactly right. This is economic warfare, and the agenda of the stratospheric elite and Pharaoh Greg is to eradicate poverty by removing the poor, eventually the working poor, eventually the working class, and we in the middle class, people like me, are going to find, we're going to wake up one day, and we're going to find we serve the interests of the very people who would enslave us. And so I want to encourage us, I mean, we're all friends here, I think a lot of us know each other, I want to encourage us to, I mean, we're coming into this meeting, but the work is ahead of us. Let's build this movement, this uh, Real Change Organizing Project, and other movements that you're a part of, but we need to start talking about economic agendas, because we are in the middle of a war here at home, and it's a war on us by a, a very tiny group of people, a stratospheric elite, who do not care about us at all. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.
That is what we call in the church world prophetic preaching. Thank you, Rich. Now we're going to have a time for you to make your comments. We want you, we're inviting you to this speak out about this issue.